Hello friends, welcome to Airdrop Spot. It's been about three weeks with no video. I am happy to be back here and I hope every one of you is doing so fine. In today's video, we are going to be interacting with Ellie's testnet. Ellie's airdrop is confirmed and this airdrop is going to reward two sets of people. The first set are atom stakers and the second set are testnet participants. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to do to interact with Ellie's testnet. So the first thing you want to do is to open up your browser and then paste the link to bonus blog. This is where you are going to find all the instructions you need to complete this testnet. So you want to connect with bonus blog using Kepler wallet. On my end, Leap wallet and Cosmos stations were not connecting to bonus blog. It may be a different experience for you. And I will also advise that you also install Leap wallet even though it is not connecting now, we are still going to use it. Install Leap wallet and Kepler all together and make sure that you import the same seed phrase into the two wallets and i'll be explaining why you need to do this as we move on with this video so approve uh, the connection and also approve to add ellie's network to your kepler wallet now the first thing you want to do when you get here is you want to connect all your three socials twitter telegram and discord so I have connected my socials and I'll move on with the rest of the mission. This is mission 1 and for connecting your socials you are going to get 150 XP. Now the next mission is to make a swap on Ellie's. And before you can make a swap you need to claim test tokens from Fawcett. So tap on Fawcett that you see highlighted in blue at the top there. When you tap on it, it is going to take you to Ellie's Fawcett. Now tap on connect wallet. There are different login options here but I'll be going for connect with digital wallet and now we are going to be using Leap wallet and this is why I said at the beginning that you should import the same seed phrase into your Leap and Kepler wallet and that is because on this page Leap wallet is the only option to connect with the faucet and without the faucet you cannot do your testnet interactions. So again you are going to approve adding the chain to Leap wallet so tap on approve. Tap on claim tokens and you are going to get 1 LEs and 2 USDC tokens. Now after successfully claiming tokens, we'll go back to bonus block and we are going to complete mission 2 which is to swap. So tap on the swap button. So this is Ellie's testnet website and here we are going to be interacting between Ellie's and USDC. So first I'm going to be swapping some USDC into Ellie's. I'll indicate the amount of USDC I want to swap into Ellie's. Then I'll tap on receive Ellie's. Now approve the transaction in your wallet. Tap on approve. Transaction successful. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing from Ellis to USDC. I'm going to be swapping some Ellis for USDC. So I will enter the amount of Ellis. Then I'll tap on receive USDC. Approve the transaction in wallet. Transaction is successful, so I'll be going back to bonus block. Now I'm going to move over to the next mission, which is the stake mission. So I'll tap on the stake button. The mission here is to stake Ellis. So this time I'll be interacting with only the Ellis card. So I'll tap on manage. Now I will tap on that drop down and then choose the validator that I want to stake my early suite. But I will just stick with the first validator which is Enigma. Then I will enter the amount of early that I want to delegate to Enigma. Then I will tap on stake early.
transaction successful. Now, after doing this, I'm still going back to the staking page to interact with other features that are there. So I'll tap on manage again. Then I'm going to switch over to redelegate tab this time. Redelegate simply means that out of some of the tokens that you delegated to a validator, you want to take out some of it and then delegate it to another validator. You are not touching the tokens in your wallet. Then I previously staked with Enigma, so I, I'll be making him the <laughs> So I'll be redelegating from Enigma to another validator. So I'll set the amount. I am not redelegating everything. I will just redelegate half to another validator. Then I'll tap on redelegate and then I'll approve the transaction in my wallet. Transaction successful. Now there is one more feature to interact with. So I'll tap on manage again. And this time I will switch to the unstake tab. And at the top, I'm going to choose the validator I want to unstake from. I can choose any of these validators, but I'm choosing the new one that I redelegated to. And then I'll be choosing the amount of Ellis that I want to unstake from this validator back into my wallet. Then I'll tap on unstake Ellis. Then tap on approve. Transaction successful. Now having completed all the staking mission, I am going back to bonus block. Now next up, I'll be adding some earlies to liquidity. So I'll be completing the liquidity mission. Then I'll tap on add liquidity. So there are different token pairing here but I'll be dealing with Ellis and USDC. So tap on that drop down by the far right. Now I will choose the amount of Ellis that I want to add to the liquidity pool and the appropriate amount of USDC will be added or vice versa. Then tap on deposit. Then tap on approve. Transaction successful. Now instead of interacting with a pair of tokens, you can also decide to add a single asset into the liquidity pool. So do that by switching over to the single asset tab and then you are going to choose the single token that you want to add to the liquidity pool. Here, I am adding Ellis, but if you want to add a different token, tap on Ellis, that drop down, and then choose any other available token. But then I am dealing with Ellis only. So indicate the amount of Ellis that you want to add to the liquidity pool, and as we did before, tap on deposit, and then approve in your wallet. transaction successful so we are done with the liquidity mission as well i am going back to bonus block the last mission is referral and you need to refer at least two persons now just like in dope testnet this is also part of the mission and it is not optional it is a must that each person refer at least two users note that your referrals must have completed all the missions the the stake the swap the liquidity missions before you can get xp for their interaction now once you have completed all the tasks and it seems as if your tasks have not been verified this is what you are going to do log out of bonus block refresh your tab and then log back in with your wallet and then you are going to see all your tasks will have been verified now you can also check your progress you can check how many xp you have gained tap on the sidebar menu by the right that very tiny drop down and then tap on leaderboard now you can see your progress you can see how many xp you have gained however this website is also not that stable so sometimes you come here 
and then you see zero xp nothing is wrong with your xp just refresh the tab and then you see you can see my xp have appeared so when you complete this mission you have not yet referred anybody you are going to get 400 xp in total and once you have referred you are going to get additional 300 xp now note that you can always come back here every day to repeat the task and then you are going to get xp for repeating the tasks every day you can also use the faucet every day as well and once you have gained up to 1000 xp then you'll be able to mint your badge so from time to time always check back on the leaderboard and then see if you have hit your 1000 xp mark milestone and then you'll be able to you'll see a button to mint your badge and then you'll be able to mint it now those who participated in dope test net they were able to claim their reward it started this weekend last weekend rather it started last weekend however those who were unable to refer anybody to dope test net even though they have done every other thing aside referring they were not able to claim their test net reward so here is one thing we can do once you have completed your missions copy your referral link and then paste it in the comment section of this video so that other people can use your referral link those who are watching this video can use your referral link but please only in the comment section of this video do not paste it anywhere else not even in the telegram group chat okay let everybody drop their uh, referral link under the comment section of this video so that in this airdrop spot community we'll have as many members as possible to be eligible to claim reward when it is time this will be the end of today's video. If you have any questions or challenges, let me know in the comment section or ask on Telegram. And if you have found value in any of my contents, make sure to give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another tutorial.